everyone welcome back and this is Naveen from UIBrains. In this video we are going to discuss uh, uh, some of the new concept of JavaScript again. So that is actually a, uh, there are some predefined functions available in JavaScript like set interval and uh, clear interval and set timeout. These are very very important in uh, JavaScript uh, the entire programming. So let's understand what exactly the set interval and set timeout and clear interval in JavaScript. Okay, so there are some predefined uh, functions set interval and another one is uh, set timeout and another one is clear let's is, is lowercase actually clear interval okay so these three are uh, predefined uh, JavaScript functions which are available in the window object so let's see what is that uh, first of all, what is this set interval is uh, if you want to call any particular function and keep on repeated number of times. So I want to call a function for certain intervals. So you're going to call set interval and you have to provide that time so that based on for every that given amount of time is keep calling the infinite number of times your function That's called set interval. And what is this set timeout is you can put a timeout for a function. It means uh, if you call this function with a set timeout, it is going to call the function after the given number of time. Okay. Suppose if you say set timeout of greet of with three seconds. So it's going to call greet function not immediately. It's going to call the greet function after three seconds. Okay. And what is this clear interval? This clear interval is actually to clear the interval which is created from set interval. Okay, so let's start with uh, a practical example on these things. Uh, so, um, I do one thing I create a folder structure for that. I'll just copy the first folder and uh, 30 over 1, let's make 31. 31 underscore set okay so js set interval underscore set timeout okay and I delete this this is set intervals okay let's take copy paste yeah, um, uh, I'll close it. I'm not using a live server for this because I just wantedly uh, just open a new uh, browser without live server because I just wanted to see what happening. Okay, um, here only thing is I have to refresh every time. Um, fine. Here I just take a function. Okay, so let's um greet is equal to I can write a normal function but I'm just taking an arrow function because we already discussed the arrow functions concept so uh, uh, greeter uh, here I write uh, console dot um, let's say hello welcome to JS okay fine now I call the function called greeter see here I create a function and I called a function so if you call a function just like this what happens is it immediately calls a function and you got the output if you call one more time one more time if you call three times what happens is all the three times it execute the function immediately you get the output okay fine but I don't want the function to just execute once or thrice I want to execute that function for a certain number of intervals so how you do that is using a set interval so what I do is set interval okay here uh, which function you want to call I'm gonna call a greet function and for what is the time so you have to give in a time for set interval the second parameter is gonna be the time and what is this thousand is gonna be the millisecond so thousand milliseconds is nothing but a uh, one second okay so if you write set interval for greet with thousand it's keep calling this greet function for every one second that's called set interval so let's check if I refresh see JS see the number is keep 
incrementing if you want to really see the value um you can do one thing uh, if you want to see the real value you can just take let's count is equal to zero and i'll just say a uh, count plus plus and uh, let's convert this like a back tick and um, i just say this will account okay so let's refresh see one two three four five and so on okay let's keep printing uh, the function for every second that's called a uh, set interval okay now one more thing is okay uh, if you put a set interval for this function is keep calling infinite number of times but what i want is i want to stop this calling this function after uh, after the count is reached to 10 i mean after 10 seconds i want to stop it you want to stop it you going to say clear interval okay but before clear interval you should know another function called set timeout what set timeout does is it will call a function after a certain number of um, certain number of uh, milliseconds uh, what is that is first i uh, comment this okay this refresh nothing now um, i just write like this set timeout greater comma 3000 so what this set timeout does this will call the greet function just only once okay only set interval will call multiple times but set timeout will call the function only once but that to when is not immediately after the given number of milliseconds so i save it and i'll just refresh what happened it's not printed it wait for three seconds and then prints the output that's only once uh, if you want to really understand the scenario um i'll do one thing first i'll print console.log of new date i'll just i just print the time uh, to locale time string okay so before calling a function time and uh, after calling inside uh, i'm gonna take the time so you can take a difference between both the times okay so let's refresh so you got 843 and exactly after 846 okay exactly after three seconds is called the function okay that's called set timeout so set timeout is called a function after a given amount of time that only once okay next uh, we'll understand the clear interval what is clear interval is in the set interval function is keep calling it right but i want to stop it exactly after five seconds i want to stop so every second it's calling after five seconds exactly have to stop so exactly five seconds means um i can use set timeout okay i can call some function after exactly five seconds in that function i gonna stop it so what i do is set timeout is five but not greet function i can take some other function inside but uh, you can just take in a function like this or you can take an arrow function okay this is the function okay fine uh, now what i do is i gonna stop that uh, how you can stop the interval is clear interval so you can just say clear interval but clear interval it expects one parameter and what is the parameter is it is the written type of set interval so generally when you call a set interval it's going to give you some id and that id you pass to the clear interval so that it stops so i'll just take let interval is equal to um, zero i'll take and i'll just say um, interval is equal to set interval so this interval i'm going to pass it to the clear interval to stop this particular timer so what happens is uh, i just tell you um, this greet function is keep calling for every one second exactly after five seconds set timeout function is called because it is five seconds exactly after five seconds it stops the timer so let's see what is that so let's refresh just check 850 h 9 5 and stop see 
one, two, three, four, five, and stop. There's no more uh, any function call. Okay. So this is all about set uh, interval and set timeout and clear interval. So I repeat, set interval is call a particular function for a certain number of intervals, and the set timeout is call only once but after given amount of time. And clear interval is exactly to stop the interval and the stop the timer, which is uh, started by the set interval. So how is does this? It takes a parameter and that parameter is a written type of set interval. Okay, and this like an ID. You can just pass it over here. Okay. So that's an example of uh, the I mean mystery behind uh, the set interval and uh, clean interval. Okay, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll meet in the next video. Thank you.